Hey, Chip, really appreciate your time this morning. Uh, as, as a Cleveland native, I, I always like to see the, the guys from Akron balling out a little bit. So so you was just a kid from Akron. Did, was your phone just, like, blowing up after the game? Yeah, it was, man. Um, I, I wasn't able to really um, get back to everybody, but just appreciated all the love and support and just hopefully I could just follow it up next game. Trevor. Hey, Chip, you're here, right? You're going through preseason practice, but it's a different feel, obviously, when you get to a game. What were your thoughts just about the speed of the collegiate game um, and your takeaways from the game on Saturday? Um, I feel like how I prepare in practice and how I coach, um, how Coach Aguano gets on his running backs prepared is actually pretty well for the game. Um, we went in not having any questions about everything, being fundamentally sound and just always paying attention to the little details and just helping us out. And when we got into that moment in game and we got that – and we got stepped on the field and we was in the play. It just felt like it just felt like we were supposed to be there. None of us panicked and we just did what we was did what we were supposed to do in the moment. Joey. Everyone loves to talk about USC, this prestigious program, their talent on the defensive end. You come in, you make a statement with two touchdowns on the national stage. What was that like for you? Um, it was a great feeling for me. Um, but me as a running back, I look at that as my job as that's, that's something I'm supposed to do on a week in and week out basis. So honestly, for me, that's what I'm supposed, I look at it as that's what I'm supposed to do. And I just got to follow it up next, um, this upcoming weekend against Kyle. Alex. Hey Chip, so how do you think the differing styles between you and Rashad as running backs sort of helped complement each other on Saturday? Um, it helped a lot, um, just cause me and Rashad, we both, we both bring that explosive ability just whenever we in that backfield and just always giving the defense, like making sure the defense stay on their toes. And with the uh, with our own line, just getting the penetration they got and the wide receivers blocking their tails off, it really opened things up for me and Rashad down the field. Oh, yeah. Um, so that transition from high school to college is always like a big question mark, but you were able to uh, set some records for ASU in the program. Um, how do those records kind of talk to you and your ability and how you're going to uh, perform as the season moves forward? Um, I try not to look at records on a on, on nowhere, shape, or form. I just try to go out and compete to the, to the best of my ability every week and just leave it out there for my guys. I mean, if it comes, it comes. But at the end of the day, just doing whatever I can to help the team get the dub. Yeah. When when was it in that game? Was there one run, one moment where where you just knew, yeah, I'm good at this level? Um, honestly, I, it wasn't even a run. I would probably say the first play I was in, and it might have been the pass protection play, just from um, you know sticking the guys up at the line of scrimmage and just being sound and being physical at pass protection really gave me the confidence that I needed to get through with the rest of the game. Jacob. After having such a successful performance in your in your debut, you now have to go up against a Cal defense that was very good against the run last year. How do you kind of approach that from a film standpoint? What have you seen from them? And, and kind of how do you plan to carry the momentum into week two? Um, Cal is a very, very physical football team. Um, we're going in this with a dog fight because we're on one and this is their first game. So both of us is eager to get that first W under our belt, but we just got to come in and be sound and physical and honestly, just complete the little things because the little things is is what didn't get us to win against USC. But as long as we come in sound, physical, be the more physical team and do the little things, I feel like we should come out on top. Two more questions, Trevor. Uh, so this is obviously your first Pac-12 season, so you haven't gotten to, to be in it right with what you had with Cal, but how would you compare them maybe to USC and then maybe some of the defenses you've seen in the past just in terms of their defensive tendencies? Um, they run the same defense as USC, so um, we'll, we'll be able to do, kind of do what some of the coaches want us to do. But um, honestly, they're, they're a very physical team, so we're expecting a lot from them and just um, always stand on our toes because we don't know what they can bring. So, just... Alex. Being a freshman and not, you know, as Trevor mentioned, you didn't get to play against Cal before, and now there's no tape on them from last week. Is that bringing sort of an extra challenge as far as preparing for them? Um, not really, because 
it was that same way for SC, just because they had got a new defensive coordinator or whatnot, and we didn't know what we was going to see coming to the game just because he wasn't at SC. So we're just really going off the field from last year and just um, following up with a great game plan and go out there and execute it. All right. Thank you, Chip.